let's understand one more dependency provider here we are in the app module file and if i go to the definition of this providers then we are here let's go to the definition of this provider array as well so here we are and here we are having all the providers this time let's talk about this value provider in the value provider we have to provide this provide property and we are having this value sense provider let's say what we have over here here we have to provide this use value so this time let's understand what is the use of this use value dependency provider here we are in the app module you can use this use value if you want to bind any object in the dependency injection let's understand how it will work so for this particular concept let's say i'm creating one more service and this time there is no need to create a separate class we can simply use an string over here i'm using this object again and here in the provide i can write the name of my basically we call this particular part a token so whatever we are defining over here this is a token and whatever we are defining over here that is a provider so this time as a token i can define an string value let's see here i'm writing app title and i can use its value so we can use this use value and you can define any kind of object at this place you can use a boolean value you can use an object a complex object you can define anything over here let's say this is the title of app i'm using only this simple injection over here now i want to inject this particular service in the component of this application for that let's open any component or we can go to the home component that is this public component this is the home here we are in the home component and i want to inject that new service over here so how can we do that this is an special type so here we have to use one inject keyword this one and in the inject keyword we have to provide the token name the token name in this scenario was this app title so let's copy this go back to this particular home component use this one then you have to provide the access modifier let's say i'm using public and then the name that you will use here in this component so let's say i'm using title only the title and then the type of this particular value so the type is the string so here i'm defining the string and that's it this is how we can inject this string type value over here in the component so if i want to display its value then i can go to this either i can use its value here in this component ts file and because this is a public type so i can also use it at the html file so here let's say i'm using one more p tag and here i'm writing value is equals to title and this is the title property that we are using just save the changes just go back to the browser let's say what we have at the home page we are having this value and this is the title of app whatever value we are defining in the app module we are getting that over here let's go back to the app module and this time let's define an object over here so here i'm defining title and here i'm also defining description and just save the changes go back to this home component and here we have to update this particular string i can put any over here go to this home and here we have to provide title dot title because this is the name either i can update it to something else let's say config save it over here config dot title let's go to the browser let's say what we have we are having the title and if i want to display the description as well then i can copy it again paste it over here let's say here i'm writing description and it is the description just save the changes go back to the browser and here we are having both the values this is how you can use the use value to define your services and this is very useful to handle the configurations in your application